Lesson 28, subtracting complex numbers in the vector form. Now, as before, we'll have a look at some free vectors. So I'll have the vector PQ. Another vector over here, which is going to be the vector LM. And we're going to say PQ, vector PQ, minus the vector LM. Now what we'll do, we'll reverse it by reversing it. We can write this as PQ plus ML because it's going in the opposite direction. Now we'll float this vector down here, the PQ vector. So we have a bit of room. There's the PQ. And now ML moves across here. Okay, it goes that way. ML, M to L, okay, and therefore the vector we after would have to be P to L, P Q M L equals P L. Now looking at the case when these vectors originate from the origin. We want to find out what OP minus OQ is. Now, this is the same as OP plus QO. Or, rearranging it, QO plus OP. So if we go from Q, Q to O, Q to O, and then from O to P, that's the same as going from Q to P. Q, P. And there we have it there again. You see there's that, that link. Now, Subtracting complex numbers in the vector form. Say so OP minus OQ is equal to, as before, OP plus QO which equals QO plus OP, which is QP or geometrically, from there to there, and this from there to there. If that was Z1, this would be Z2, and this would be Z1 minus Z2. Now if we do this by adding these vectors together, or sorry, subtracting these vectors, we'd get uh, Z1 is equal to 1 plus 3i, and Z2 equals 4 plus i, so z1 minus z2 is going to be minus 3 plus 2i. So what does that mean? Well, this is going to be originating from the origin, and that will be minus 3, 2, 3 here, 2i, 1, 2 up. And of course, you can see what that is. That is this vector over here being moved a little bit this a bit longer there that's been same direction same direction same magnitude now the other interesting thing is if we say so what what about um z2 minus z1 well, all you do is change the sign around we get 3 minus 2i and of course that's going to be down here 1 2 3 minus 2i just the vector in reverse.